every song I do is very different to the next song. I always try and, and, and test myself as an artist and show people a different side of me. So, you know, Heart Skips a Beat was like a 90s throwback sort of song. Then you got like Dance Me Tonight, it was like a 60s old school Motown record. Then you got Troublemaker that's very modern but had a funky kind of vibe to it. Then you had like Dear Darling, which has got like a massive attack kind of feel to it. And obviously my new single, Hand on Heart, is, you know, a very traditional modern day ballad. So I kind of always change and, and give my fans something new and, and something different and that's kind of what I always try and do with all my music. And if you don't know, just put your hand on my heart. director of the Angels video came up with the idea of Vaughan who I know well he said you know we'd love to recreate the video we'd love to get Robbie in the video so I was like yeah cool that's a good idea and um, you know he spoke to Robbie he wanted to do it and we just wanted to have a good moment in the video where it was me and Robbie and we had a laugh just sort of like throwing the ball to each other and I thought it was a beautiful moment and actually Robbie I showed Robbie before it even came out I said I really want you to see it and he saw it and just said um, how he was really touched by it and said how, how lovely it was, you know, that we generally love each other and get on well. And I think, obviously, he sees a lot of, of, of himself in me, yet I see a lot of him in me, so it's, it's great. I mean, but I think, very, I think what people seem to forget is that we're two very different artists. We've, we look differently. Um, we both come from the UK, of course, but... We both perform probably in the same sort of manner, but we our songs are so different. I mean, Dear Darling is very different to Angels, you know. Candy is very different to Troublemaker. You know, Heart Skips a Beat is very different to No Regrets, you know. So we have very different genres of music, but we have a very similar personality. The table set for two, but I'm the only one. Oh, George is amazing. She was lovely. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't know much about her until I came here. And then I got to meet her, and, and she was lovely, she was gorgeous. Um, and she just, yeah, she played me the song, I heard it once, was like, wow, I really, really liked, loved it. And obviously my label spoke to me and said they want to get a male vocal on the song, I'd love you to do it. So I was like, cool, let's do it. I think I learned very early on in my career that when I did The X Factor, how I was, you know, compared to, say, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or Beyonce, like they were here and I literally came off the X Factor and I was here. Even though probably in my head and because of the, how big the X Factor was, I felt like I was his, I was here and probably was in terms of people talking about you and every day and the papers and you know being involved in the industry every day. But then when you come off the show and then you start doing music, you realize that you're this person and you're, you know, you're not this person yet. And I think that's when you have to start your career from scratch, which is what I did. And here I am now. Troublemaker, it's like you're always there in the corners of my mind. Troublemaker was huge um, for me as a single, but Dear Darling was a song that I loved very, very much. Um, I'd say that was a highlight for me because I've always been sort of an up-tempo singer, so I always sing like happy songs. So Heart Skips a Beat, Troublemaker, Dance Me Tonight were the songs that are very much me. But when you do a ballad like Dear Darling, that, you know, when I did my tour across Europe with Robbie and I did um, the UK, my own tour, like Dear Darling just had this amazing reaction. All I can see is girl, I need them all. Dear Darling. If you want to take your le your career to the next level, um, you need to take risks and take a chance, um, but still keeping the job that I've got in the UK, and that's my fan base, that's my real hardcore fan base, but it's then stepping it out and, and starting again. But no, I, I want to keep, I don't think I've reached my potential. I don't think I've reached the success that I can reach. I mean, I'm only 29, um, you know, I'm not in my 30s just yet. Um, you know, when you look at some of the artists that I love very much and 
that are still big, big now. I mean, Robbie Williams, he's nearly 40. Um, Michael Buble as well in his, in his 30s. Justin Timberlake's in his 30s. Um, you know, so I feel like I'm in good company and I come, I'm, in that, I'm in that bracket of, you know, Bruno Mars, I think, is 26, 27. So, like, I've got, you know, a, a bracket of male solo artists that are all around the similar age. So I feel like I've got so much more to give. And the ne my next album, which is going to be, which I'm writing next year, for next year, um, I think will be my best yet. Yeah? Really confident about it. You try, try.